Ethanol as a replacement for gasoline in automobiles is touted by the President and the Congress as a solution here today to reduce our dependency on foreign oil. But as ethanol production has risen this year, so is the price of corn, the primary grain used today to produce ethanol. That has many people blaming ethanol for the rise in food prices. A box of cornflakes is going to have a nickel's worth of corn. What impacts consumer food prices far more than the price of corn is the energy, the marketing, the packaging, everything else that goes into bringing that box of cornflakes to the grocery stores. Analyses that we have done shows that the price of gasoline has more than twice the impact on consumer food prices than does the price of grain. A bushel of number two yellow corn costs nearly twice as much as it did in 2005. Yet in a Bureau of Labor Statistics sample of grocery items that include corn as a direct or indirect production element, the aggregate increase in price has been 3.4 percent, just one half percent over the 25-year average for food inflation. All automobiles manufactured today are capable of running on fuel that is 10 percent ethanol and 90 percent gasoline. In addition, there are six million flex fuel vehicles on the road. Built primarily by Ford, Chrysler and GM, flex fuel vehicles can run on up to 85 percent ethanol. It's very important to have flex fuel vehicles and have E85 ethanol to fuel those vehicles because it reduces dependence on petroleum, it reduces CO2 emissions, and reduces imported oil. Those are all things that we're all working together on to find solutions. We think it's important to have energy diversity and to have alternatives. And E85 ethanol is here today. The vehicles are here today. According to the National Corn Growers Association, farmers in the U.S. planted nearly 93 million acres of corn this spring, the most since World War II. The record acreage was in anticipation of greater demand for ethanol, and the corn growers predict there will be plenty of corn for food and fuel. I'm Chris Hansen.